Hi, my name is Boris and in today's tutorial we're going to be taking a look at some acoustic melodic house themes and first of all let's just listen to our three patterns here. We'll dissect exactly how these patterns were made and we'll also look at some creative processing methods in Ableton's simpler and sampler devices. So after watching this tutorial you should be able to make track starting ideas like these really quickly and easily. Just a quick reminder before we get started, if you like what you see in this tutorial make sure to subscribe to our channel and if you would like to learn Ableton Live a little bit more in depth we have the Ableton Beginners course which gives you all the knowledge you need to confidently start building and finishing your first tracks. And of course make sure to check out the pack we are using in this video, Acoustic Melodic House Themes Volume 2. This is the pack we made together with orchestral tools and I really really recommend you guys this one and in this tutorial you're exactly going to see why it's so useful. Just to give you guys a quick introduction to the pack, we basically had a team of Melodic House producers sit down and they all worked with the orchestral and acoustic instrument libraries from orchestral tools and with the power of all the effects and different sampling technologies our team basically developed this pack to give you instant access to organic sounds that will work in electronic tracks you are given 100 strong material that you can combine mix and match together and use as instant inspiration for starting your tracks this was made by throwing together loops just randomly combining them. So let's just open up the first one and uh, let's take a look at what we have going on. As you can see, if I open up the effects chain here, there are no effects on most of these tracks. So the sounds are just taken straight out of the pack and they work together perfectly. Okay, so let's take a look at the first sample here. So as you can hear, this is a droning bass sound, which I started from, and then I combined that with a chord loop. And as you can see, the samples are actually labeled with the tonal information. So we have not only the tempo, but also the key. So A minor here, I needed to pitch that down four steps and then the chords are left in F minor. Here we have just a clap loop. Really simple. Now there is a pad. So the pad is also a droning sound. It fits very well with the bass. So that is the pad. Now we are adding some claps with a bit of reverb applied. And this adds a bit of more of a texture or a background reverb element. And then we have some top loops here. And at this point, all that was needed was a bit of a thump. And I just added a kick drum from Deep Premium Volume 6. So one of uh, our newer standard drum sample packs. But that's pretty much it as for this pattern. Let's take a look at pattern number two. Here we have something a bit more housey. Let me open up the chains here. So here is the starting arpeggio, basically a sort of marimba sound that is playing a very nice melody. It has a lot of velocity applied here and uh, I'm sure it came out of some orchestral marimba instrument from orchestral tools. And uh, then we have a bass loop here. And what's cool is that this might have come out from a synthesizer, but it still sounds very organic. And to me, it just fits perfectly with this marimba. And both of these patterns are quite rhythmic, but they also kind of work together. Okay, and then we have a vocal, so basically a drone, and this fits nicely uh, with the rest because it's all in C minor, as you can see on the label. And 
as you can hear, the claps also are not your standard 808 or 909 claps. And the sounds are just incredibly acoustic sounding and uh, this just makes the track sound very rich as if there was a lot of textures and uh, a lot of layering going on. Yeah, this was basically done in uh, less than a minute probably. And uh, so these are the four tracks and this already gives me the idea that we have a starting idea for a track. Then we have a group and uh, let's see what's going on here. So these are just hats. Let's take a look at the first uh, one. Very simple one, but a, a bit more like a percussion sound. Then we have probably a bit more of a standard hat loop. With the offbeat hi-hat really nicely hitting there. So this combined with this perk sort of element creates our really interesting top loop. Then we have just a basic kick loop from Deep Premium Volume 6. Let's just play all of this once again. And that's the pattern number two. Let's take a look at the third one. I started from this clap over here. Very simple, added some of the bass. And this already gives us a bit of that, um, basically we have a very simplistic bass loop and a single clap at the moment and with the hat loop it just comes alive so there's a lot of a lot going on here these are the drums and bass now let's take a look at the piano and this just gives us a lo-fi jazzy sort of chord that is perfect for this kind of genre and here we have a some kind of metallophone And I just started this loop in this position because I wanted this to be an A, B pattern. So phrase A and then a response. And then we just have a kick loop at the end and let's just play all of this together. Okay, so that's it as for our patterns. Now let's take a look at some more creative techniques that you can use in Ableton to process these samples. And first of all, I'm just going to turn off the camera so I can show you the pack. So we have the pack over here. For example, you can see through all of the different sections here, a lot of ambiences, arps and sequences, bass loops, you have chords, drum loops, effects, different instrument loops, so different orchestral instruments actually here, even voices, a few pad loops, lots of percussion, so that's really really important, and tonal percussion as well. And that's just volume two of this pack, we also have volume one, so uh, you can actually get all of that together and just get crazy amounts of organic sounds for Melodic House. For this part we are going to stick to one of the pad loops, And I'll just take a new MIDI track and I will just drop the sample over here. As you can see, we have it loaded up inside Simpler. And if I play C3, the sample just plays. And actually in Simpler and also in Sampler, which we're going to get to later on, we have a lot of creative possibilities that would not usually be possible from just dropping the sample straight into the arrangement view. So uh, let's just get started. One thing we could do is just make this uh, very bright sample a bit more lo-fi. So there are a few techniques for that. First of all, maybe we can expand the view so we can see the entire sample here and maybe just uh, have a bit more control over the other parameters. First of all, we have a filter here so we can just take the frequency down and this is all immediately going to sound a bit more lo-fi. Another thing we could do is just add some drives. So you can choose OSR here and increase the drive. And that already sounds very lo-fi. Now let's take a look at some of the other options we have. Maybe let's just dial this a bit up and back down with the drive. A really cool option is the LFO section here. You can just turn up, for example, the volume modulation here.
and now we can change the speed of this LFO here. And that gives us a lot of cool options. Uh, we can also do that with pitch. So we can add a bit of that tape machine wobble and you can also do that with panning. So a bit like the auto pan effect and you can also move the filter actually. There's a lot of cool options here with this LFO. And uh, also we can uh, do some stuff with the envelopes. For example, with the pitch envelope, we can turn down the sustain and just make this into a sort of stab sound. Maybe change the starting time of the sample. And maybe we can increase the decay slightly. And we have a stab and we can do some pitch modulation as well. So for example, go minus seven here and increase the decay here. And already we have some pitch bend. We can also uh, go up here with the amount, and do all sorts of crazy things. But let's not get into that. Let's actually convert this into a sampler. So right clicking on the device here, uh, on the top pad, on the top bar here, and uh, clicking simpler to sampler. And that just converts this device into a sampler, which basically gives us a lot more options than simpler. First of all, as you can see, this looks sort of similar. The, some of the boxes have the same design, but there's a a lot more options in each of the tabs. We have an oscillator here which can do FM modulation or AM modulation. Most of the time this is going to add some harmonics to our sample or just totally destroy it and make it very very lo-fi. First of all increase the sustain and let's increase the volume as well. We can increase the chorus pitch here and maybe increase the volume then. And as you can hear, this gives us these very bright metallic high frequencies. And we can change that actually to, for example, noise to get some noise going on. And this also is a very organic way of processing stuff. Instead of using, for example, erosion, you can process it here in the sampler with the noise modulation. And let's add actually the shaper here in the filter section. And as you can hear, this also gives us a bit of a distortion, a different type of distortion here. And this uh, can often give us a lot of grit. A sampler also gives us a lot more options when it comes to just looping. So for example, we can trim the sample like this and make it go in reverse once it reaches the end, for example, like this. And in this way you can create infinite sustains and this is really cool with vocal samples for example that have a stable pitch or anything else basically if you want to just hold that as if a drone in the background. And then uh, also in the envelopes tab we have the slope options here. So for example in uh, simpler the slope is always like this. So a very steep one and we can uh, make it linear for example instead of so the different kinds of slopes here give you even more control over the envelopes and the same for attack release as well. All right, so that is all for today. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you would like to explore Ableton more, we're running a music production academy with start to finish courses on making tracks in various genres, as well as an Ableton beginners course in which you can learn all the necessary basics of production. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell. If you enjoyed this video, leave us a like and write us a comment and I will see you in the next tutorials. Hi, this video is sponsored by us. If you like these tutorials and want to support the channel, check out our website packed with online courses and professional sound packs. If you want to cut years of your learning curve, check the PML Beginner to Advanced Music Production program for Ableton Live. You will know Ableton inside out and learn how to write, produce, mix and master complete tracks. You learn step by step at your own speed from an empty file to professional production, as if we're sitting side by side in the studio. Thank you for listening. And now let's get back to your tutorial.